You are healed in Jesus' name. There are someone with chest pain. You are healed. There's a man here with pain in your womb, in your tummy. A man with, look at my hand. This is where the pain is. You are a man, not a woman. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There are someone here set for surgery. I was supposed to go for surgery because of complications in your womb. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am not the healer. Someone with growth, you have growth on your hand. That growth is gone. In the name of Jesus. The miracle belongs to you, but the testimony does not belong to you. The testimony belongs to God. Everyone that God has healed all over the world. Those of you on the internet send a testimony right now. But those of you that are in different churches, work to the front of the church. I am not the healer. There's somebody with crushes. Drop those crushes and work in the name of Jesus. There is a strange anointing of healing over everywhere. Rise up and work. Leave that walking aid and work in the name of Jesus. The power of God is at work. Rise up and work in the name of Jesus. Drop that aid and work in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, whether I name your disease or not, the great healer is at work. Wherever you are, he's healing everyone. Everyone sick is healing all of you. All the sick is healing all. Jesus healed them all. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He healed them all. So every sick be healed in the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do and that disease, you will not find it anymore. There's somebody with a stammer, you are healed. You are a stammer, you are healed. You stammer, but your tongue is crazy. You won't stammer right now. Talk, you won't stammer. Just talk to somebody to show. You won't stammer in the name of Jesus. Walk to the front, to the left, to the right. And then you will see people that will take your testimonies. And go the Lord is righteous, righteous in all His ways. So the Lord and give in praise in our we sing it bless. Your boys and give all the glory. Sing, Lord, I will bless His name. I will bless His name and give Him all. And give Him all. Oh, give Him all. Oh, shout. There are someone with injection abscess, you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. There are someone in a sick bed far away. You are watching outside the country, you're watching this service on a sick bed. Now, how you know you are healed for, the, for some time now, you couldn't get up from the bed. Get up and sit down, you have strength. That disease is gone. And you are watching from overseas. Right this service, you're watching from the sick bed. For some days now, you will have not able to get up. Now, sit upright. There will be strength. Don't you have strength? That's the end of that plague. In the name of Jesus. Ah. Somebody somewhere has dropped crushes. Mark it. Somebody somewhere has dropped crushes. I know it as I know my name. Somebody somewhere has dropped crushes. Somebody somewhere has dropped walking aid. I know it as I know my name. God has healed someone who has a walking aid and that walking aid has dropped. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, everyone God has healed. Don't tell me what God did. Come and tell the one that healed you. I am not the healer. We never post to be the healer. Come and share the testimony with the Most High God. And I give him all, give him all, give him all, give him all, give him 
his neck. Yes. Pastor, this young man has been having neck pain for the past two weeks. So, so you, you, maybe, maybe see that church, wherever you are. He but said that. Why you don't stop singing? Just keep singing quietly. Yes. As of two nights ago, he could not sleep at all because of the severity of the pain. Papa, he came to church yesterday. You gave a word of knowledge. He said he felt the power of God hit him. He went home to see if his miracle was complete. And he said that from that night, he slept peacefully. He slept like a baby. The neck pain had completely disappeared. Oh, will you give Jesus a big hand? No pain. No pain. No pain. No Come closer, no pain. No pain. Pastor. Come, come up, young man. Yes. Doctor. She also came with headache. And God church, healed them. And God healed her. Oh, completely. sweet. Hold her. Come, you. Come closer, young lady. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you shedding tears? Eh? Why? You've been in pain? You feel drowsy? Oh, in Jesus' name. I will. How are you, sweet Holy Spirit? Just touch him yourself, not me. You touch him in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, glory. Yes. You are free, young lady. You can enjoy your life. Yes. Pastor, this young woman here has been having painful breasts. The both breasts have been tender, painful for the past three weeks. So she's seen her doctor. She's got been to her doctor. She's been placed on injections for five days. But it has remained there. As she, as she came into the service this day, uh, this evening, and the word of God was, and you were, the ministration was on, said she felt, she, no felt pain. she felt something left her, and she has been free from that time. Can said you press she your breast? No pain. Anymore. Press it. Press your breast. No pain. No pain. No pain. Yes, sir. No pain. Yes. Give Jesus a big hand. Yes. Pastor. Doctor. This man was healed of severe migraine yesterday during your ministration. Was and it he a was migraine headache? Yes, sir. He went home and discovered the migraine was no, no longer there. He slept well. Are you happy? Are you happy? Just stay behind him. Let him not fall. That don't allow him fall, please. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of God, just touch him. No, no distance. In Jesus' name. Do your head, no pain. No pain. And you. Yeah. So you. Pastor. So yes. This man has had severe low back pain for a month now. He said during the administration yesterday, he got his healing. Since then, the pain is gone. He can bend properly now. Do what he couldn't do before now. Do again. There is somebody who has stroke. And after you are healed, your mouth is, was bent. Even when the stroke left, your mouth was not straight. But right now you are healed. Just look at your mouth. When you talk, it goes one side. But as we are just worshiping God, touch your mouth. And then every side effect, your mouth is perfect. Give God the praise in Jesus' name. So I God heal you. He loves you. You are healed. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. Hey, give him praise, mighty God. God man. Pastor. Yes. This young woman has been having chest pain for the past six months. Yes. She came to church with it yesterday. She said the chest pain was so severe that it used to disturb her breathing. She used to have difficulty in breathing. But she said the power of God hit her yesterday and the pain completely disappeared just as we were ministering. Hey, do your chest like this. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. Pastor. There is another testimony here. Yes. You did give a word of knowledge about pain gone of a man. This man has had chest pain for one week duration. He says that he cannot breathe in well. Anytime he breathes in well, he has severe pain. But suddenly, suddenly, something hit him 
and is well, he can breathe very well. Do what he couldn't do for one week. Dazzle, God bless you. He loves you. Jesus. Name that is a proof of name. Beautiful Savior. Beautiful Savior. Glorious Lord. Glorious Lord. You don't have that pain? No pain? You know, most times when people say they have pain, so I say, is it pain that people are just talking about pain? Or you need to know when people go through pains. Pain is not funny. Am I telling you? If you ever had pain, most people don't die because of the sickness, they die because of the pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. No pain. Yes. Pastor? Yes. She has had neck pain for like one week. She said the neck pain was so bad that it radiated to the right part of her hand and her right leg. She said that she came to church this time. She came with the pain. But as the ministration started, the pain did completely disappear. She's completely healed. Everyone with pain is getting healed. Only the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace, oh His grace. I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on his face, only the presence of the Lord is in this place, only the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace, his grace. I can feel the brush of angels wings. I see glory on his face. Surely the presence. Of the Lord is in this place. Pastor, you need to hear this. This lady has been slurring his speech 
for 24 years. She's 27 now. She said when she was three years old, she discovered that she cannot pronounce well. She's a chronic stammerer. And she came to church. She's an external student. She schools in Georgia. She came to church with impediment of the speech. But right now, the tongue is losing. Pastor, this lady can talk clearly. She said in school, she cannot present cases. So hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. Are, are you hearing her? That in school she cannot present cases. She's a, cases. Medical, student. She's a medical student. It's difficult for her to present her cases. She can talk, born, she, after three. She, she, was, she, she was invited from Calabar for this program. She came from Calabar. Will you give Jesus a big big, big big? Come up, young lady. Can you talk well now? Yes, I can. What's your name? My name is Deborah Eta. That's not. Will you give Jesus? You are not clapping for Jesus. Woo. Ah, as, as a medical student, she knows her problem. So she's not been a medical student in Georgia, former Russia. That means she knows her case. From three years, she has not been able to talk. Can't even present anything in class. So that was bad and talking freely as if she has never had such a problem. You are not giving the king of kings to her. You are the same yesterday, yesterday today, forever. Nobody is like you. You never change yesterday, today, forever. Nobody loves me like you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. You are the living God. Hey, you know, that is a creative miracle. That is a creative. It, it is supernatural. Somebody who couldn't talk. Freely talking perfectly. No sign that she ever has such a problem. Oh, may God give you all your desires. Go back to that country with greater testimonies. In Jesus' name. Understand as you go back. Be very intelligent and have no luck. In Jesus' name. Amen. She came all the way from Calabria to be a part of this program. Give Jesus a big hand. Only you can do. Pastor, yes, yes, a surgery just occurred with no scar, no pain. You gave a word of knowledge of someone with a growth on the back. Like a tennis ball. This is the lady. For 20 years. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, here the doctor. He said for her. For 20 years. For 20 years she has had the growth. Yes. But right now in this service, the growth has disappeared. <laughs> Only you can be. Some of you are not excited. <laughs> what no <laughs> man can do. Yeah, oh, uh, only you can do what no, no man, man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. Give him praise. Yeah, what, what no man, man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Jehovah, what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. So be a spirit of God. no man can be Jehovah. Only you eh? What no man can be Jehovah. Only you can do it. Eh? What no man can be Jehovah. Only you eh? What no man can be Jehovah. Only you can be. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you eh? What no man can be, Jehovah. I say only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. 
Only you can do it. You are bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people feel. Forever you're the same. I can't remember. There is no one like you. Yeah. There is no one like you. I can't remember There is no one like you It's can be There is no one like you Beginning and the end On your malay Only you can be What no man can do yeah. Only you can do it What no man can do Jehovah Only you can only you eh, what no man can do. Only you can do what no man can do. Jehovah, only you can do it. Can do. Only you can do what no man can do. Jehovah, only you eh, what no man can do. Only you. Only you eh, only you Papa me Jehovah. Let you eh, what no man can do. Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do. Jehovah, only you eh, what no man can do. Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do. Jehovah. Yeah, what no man can do, Jehovah. Shout! Hallelujah! Glory! Yes. The woman we had to take her test more, you know that was the way she was rocking, you know that? <laughs> Before she became born again, she was. <laughs> She was, she was digging it heavily. I said, this one, <laughs> the husband I have must have eaten life. <laughs> yes. You said you had growth and growth vanished? Yes, sir. How? Over 20 years. It started like a ball, you know. Before I knew it, it spread and it was so big that the um, right hand side of my back, and I was believing God for healing. And today you mentioned the case. And um, I put my hand right there and saw that the thing was done. <laughs> Give Jesus a big, big hand. God is faithful. Whatever God didn't plant in your life shall be rooted out now. In the name of Jesus. Is your Pastor. Okay. There's another testimony here. Six years of asthma. Destroyed! Six Will you give Jesus a big, destroyed. big, big she hand and shot? No asthma? Six years. Yes. Okay. And I, like, I always have the pain, but I got healed in the five nights of glory. I never testified. Never testified? That has a miracle, but you haven't testified. Instantly, I started having pain. I was wheezing, and tears was coming from. I had to stand up. As soon as I stepped out of the church, coming from the tent, coming here, the pain stopped. It Everything stopped. vanished. Now listen, many people don't know why we testify. You read the scripture, but you don't have understanding. It said, "Overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the words of their testimonies." When you testify, you commit God to put a seal over your miracle. By that, you are saying, God, you did it. So God is committed to make that miracle a permanent one. By not testifying, you are saying, God, I never recognize what you did. So Satan can come back. So we are not here to testify just for four. We are here to testify because by that, you have committed God to say, Lord, this season you did. I have told the world in the open and then he perfects your miracle. Always give glory to God. Young lady, you are, you are free now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. 
No asthma. Go and enjoy your life. Pastor, yes. there's a testimony here. This young woman, for the past two months, has been admitted ten times. She said and, she had... And she was the one I saw. When she came last two Sundays, she was looking like somebody who passed out in two days. She was fearful. To stand was a problem. It was that bad. So that's why when she was starting to say, you need for, um, so the minute she has stood alone, is enough to show that she's well. Two months admitted, ten times. You, yes, go ahead. She had high blood pressure. She, get, she, she was getting tired easily and restless. And she had restlessness. She said sometimes she wake up in the night and feel like as if she's choking. She had to be aided to come to church yesterday. And then when you started ministration, the power of God hit her. All oh, the tiredness, all the symptoms, everything was gone. Disappeared. Will you give Jesus a big shot? And he healed. And enjoy your life. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Father, new life and new strength. The power of the Holy Ghost upon the entire body from the crown of your head to your feet. Give her complete new health. In the name of Jesus. Now in Jesus' name. My Affliction will not come again the second time. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Sing it out. I think at this point. Hold it. At this point, just take one or two. Let's, let me share God's word. Yes. Pastor. Yes. This man desire. God's healing. For several months, he could not walk on aided until today. He said even last Holy Communion Day, he was here. He was prayed for by Pastor Emma and several others. Until today, Pastor, he was at a tent. As the power of God hit him, he can now walk. He can do what he could not do before. You couldn't do that? It was aided down here. Oh, Father. Strength in this body. Strength for your hands. Pray for strength for him. Father, we pray for strength. Pray for strength. Pray for strength. Pray for strength. Into this body. In Jesus' name. Go and live a new life. well with your business it is well with your body it is well with your marriage it is well with your academics 